For those of you that don't know, I'm Robbie Starbuck. My wife and I started doing this um, and the Williamson County GOP, Cheryl, the chairwoman, she's been amazing and she came in to partner with us on this, to partner with us on this and um, it, they've just been an incredible help. And today we wanted to just stand up for our values and show that we exist. We're here, we're gonna stand for our freedom. We're gonna, we're gonna show up between now and election day. We're gonna do whatever it takes to make sure that our values are represented in the state of Tennessee stays a red state and that, and that Joe Biden loses this election. So I, I'd like to introduce Cheryl Brown. Many of you have heard her name over the last several weeks and months. We're proud of Cheryl. Thank you guys so much for coming out. We appreciate you and thank you for making a difference. Let me tell you something. The only way we are going to make a difference, we need to get out and vote. And listen, you don't have to vote in fear because how is it that someone else of my color would go come and tell you to vote, not to vote for a white man, but then tell you to vote for a white man? I'm not, I don't understand that, but I'm here to pray. So that's what I'm gonna do and we're gonna keep it moving. But don't you forget, November the 3rd, what are we gonna do? Vote! <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day. We thank you for every person here. We thank you for our country. We thank you for our president. We thank you for our vice president. And we thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name, that November 3rd, Trump will be our president. In Jesus' name. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the pathless fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly and the rockets rattle the bells were still in the proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled melody. Why you have so many names. Matter of fact, there's so many, there's so many reasons why you're here new, and there's so many reasons why you have so many new neighbors. Because they're fleeing those democratic controlled states like California, Illinois, New York, Connecticut, New Jersey. What's some of the other states? You name them. Because there's no opportunity there. They tax you to death, they take away your freedom, and you cannot take care of your family and you cannot create wealth and you cannot create jobs. And so people flee that and they come to states like Tennessee. Or Bill. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mayor, thank you. Man, it is great to be here with everybody. Thank you all so much for turning out. You know, we couldn't be facing a more important decision than what America is facing right now. Starting Wednesday of this week, we've got to send a very important message. If you think about it, our nation's at a crossroads. Chuck Schumer's already said it. If we lose control of the Senate, if they gain control, he said everything is on the table. He said he will not waste the majority if they get it again and they're going to act swiftly. Let me tell you what that means. They're going to pack the Supreme Court. They're going to go from nine justices to 14, to 13 justices, adding another four seats. And I can assure you, 
they're going to put in partisan activist liberal judges that will legislate from the bench, not interpret the Constitution the way Judge Amy Coney Barrett would do. They want to legislate from the bench because they want to have a permanent super legislative body that they can use to impose liberal policies on all of us. We cannot let that happen. They want to impose the Green New Deal on us. That would destroy our economy. Absolutely. They want to do this Medicare for all. That means they want to take away the health care that you get from your job, through your companies. They want to impose a social system instead. And this whole notion of defunding and dismantling the police, that's their policy. We should all give our law enforcement officers a great round of applause. They're working hard here today. Is it great to be a Republican in Williamson County? Even more important than that, isn't it great to be a conservative Republican in Williamson County? I tell you what, I'm so excited. It is such an incredible honor for me to get to represent this county, and I have for a number of years now. I raised my family here, my wife and I do, and Williamson County has been a bedrock of conservative Republican values for this state, and I can't thank you enough for that. So we're going to keep Tennessee the least indebted, lowest tax state in the nation. We're going to continue to fight for your conservative values. And again, I just want you to know how grateful I am for the honor to get to represent you in the Tennessee State Senate, which, by the way, the Tennessee General Assembly was rated by the American Conservative Union as the most conservative legislature in the entire nation. And no disrespect to my friends over in the House, but specifically the Tennessee State Senate was rated the most conservative legislative chamber in the entire United States of America. And I get to serve as the majority leader of the most conservative chamber, legislative chamber in the entire United States of America. And that's because y'all send me up there to do that. So thank y'all very much for that. God bless you. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I want to take a second. I noticed there's some counter protesters today. It didn't happen last time. And I just wanted to say to them um, that I hope that they recognize, because I heard somebody saying that Republicans are racist. I just want to make very clear this, this was organized by a strong black woman and a Latino man. And our keynote speaker is a black woman too. But I appreciate you guys coming and listening. You guys specifically have been very respectful. And I really appreciate that because what we need is for people to listen and they've been listening. So I will give them props to people going by just being disrespectful, you know. I hope those people understand that this party, there's room for everybody. And we've made that very clear. The only value that matters here is that you love America you love freedom, and you will fight for freedom to make sure that America remains the freest nation in all the world because there is no better place than the United States of America. All right, thank you guys. Next up we have Rob Smith, the incredible, from Fox News. I mean, he's just, he's such an incredible guy. I could probably talk for 10 minutes. He's an amazing veteran. So let's give him a hand for his service to our country. And he's probably one of my favorite people in the world. So thank you, Rob. Oh, thank you so much, buddy. How y'all doing? Yeah. Now look, you, you may know me, you may not know me. My name is Rob Smith. I call myself America's favorite black gay Republican. It's a joke. Um, but I want to tell you a story because it is now, we're about three and a half weeks out of this election. And I am one of the new people that has come into this movement because four years ago, I did not cast a vote in the presidential election. I was not a fan of Hillary Clinton. I was not a fan of the president. But this is what happened. I found out that you pay attention to what, not what people say, but what they do. Now, I had come from the left. I was on the left for a really long time because what the left likes to do to people like me is they like to tell black people that you need to be afraid of Republicans because in Joe Biden's words, they're gonna put you in chains. That's what he said. They tell gay people that you need to be afraid of conservatives because they all hate you. This is what they say. This is what they do to control people like me on the left. 
So after the president was elected in 2016, I have to be very honest, I was afraid because I had bought into all of the lies of the left because they had been saying this over and over and over again. I was very, very afraid. But what happened was I stepped back and I got a look at what the president was actually doing. And I said that, why is it that there's so much good stuff going on for this country? We had at one, po at one point the greatest economy that this world has ever, that this nation has ever seen. We had the lowest ever black unemployment, lowest ever Latino unemployment. We had the First Step Act. We had border security actually becoming a priority and not people just wanting to throw open the border. So I saw this stuff happening and I said, why would anybody not wanna be a part of amazing things that are happening for this country? And that was when I decided to come out and be vocal about my support for the Republican Party and my support for the president. Yes, I did. I, I have a video of it. No, hey, can someone please come with me? Well, what we need to do, the yes, police department is on their way over here. Okay, we'll get you with them, and you can fill out a report for him. For the Franklin ma'am. He's getting away. He's leaving. Don't Still love you guys. That's actually. What 
Hey, good job! 